Hey everyone, okay, so I'm just gonna film this little intro quickly. My iSet is back in stock and it is, it's been the fastest selling, I think the best selling set, which is the iSet, which is the complete set for eyes. So you have all these different brushes to pick from when you're working with an eye. And the way I like to do it is, even though all brushes can be used for different variations of the eyes, because these are all in effect a crease brush, they go into the crease. So if you've got a small eye, like a really small eye, this is your crease brush because this will fit that area. And if you've got a larger eye, this can be used to go around the tear duct and the eyelid and the brow bone. And then there's specific blending brushes. It, the list is endless and it's, it's just a perfect, perfect set. For those of you who are new, I'm gonna mention it one more time. These are my brushes. There ain't no company, there ain't no middleman, no angel investors. I pay for them. These are my brushes, so buy them. They're good. Hey everyone, okay, so short and sweet. If you had trouble with your foundation um, changing color, darkening as the day goes on, this could be a good tip because oftentimes we blame it on the foundation. And I've mentioned before that skincare can, can create issues with regards to the oxidization of foundation where it becomes darker. But this is a really big one and nobody that I've seen speaks about it and it's worth mentioning. When you set your foundation with a, like a no color powder, like a loose powder like this that has no pigment or filler in it, then the foundation doesn't change color. In it, we're talking about if it hasn't already oxidized or it doesn't. These kind of powders will not cause oxidization because there's no color in it. However, colored powders, whether they're loose or pressed, these can be one of the main causes for oxidization and the changing of color of your foundation. So the way to check this, and you're gonna ruin a tiny bit of product, is put a tiny, tiny drop of water into the pressed powder that you're using. So just a tiny, tiny bit. Pop it in there. It will instantly darken two or three shades darker. Give it time to slightly dry and then look back at it. If it's still one or two shades darker, that could be the reason why your foundation is changing color and deepening as the day goes by because your natural oils are coming through the skin that will affect the color of your foundation. Whereas if you put a drop of water on this, which is the NARS one, the translucent crystal, it isn't gonna change color. So that can be the reason why foundation is oxidizing and why we see a darkening of the skin is oftentimes to do with the powder that we're using and not anything else. It's not the foundation. It's what we're doing to our skin after we set it that can cause the most amount of trouble, which is why I always tend to stick to no color powders, translucent powder, Laura Mercier, RCMA, they're the least problematic of them all. You know that's not gonna be a problem. And if it is oxidizing, you know it's at least not that, it's something else that's going on. So there you go. Just check your pressed and colored powders with a drop of water. See if they are going two, three, four shades darker. And that could be a reason. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye, bye-bye. All wrong hand, bye-bye.